This is the bag for the Sawyer Mini. It's supposed to hold 16 ounces. We'll see. I would guess I think it's a pain in the ass to hold open. I would guess that at most I'm I'm getting about twelve ounces in there. Now I got my water. Okay, I got my water here. Now you got to do is take the filter. It's got a nice arrow on it that says flow. Supposedly, all you got to do is screw it on there. Then tilt it up. It tastes clean. It's a little rough to get the water through the filter first time. But uh, other than that, it tastes like water. Actually, it tastes better than water out of the tap. Now here's the last aspect that you really got to think about. Once you use the filter, it's full of water. If you leave it sitting there, you got to clean it out. Now what I'm going to do, this is the, the backwash cleaning plunger that comes with it. So what I'm going to do is take some, some water. First I'm going to clean the bag out some clean water and I can imagine that it'll take a while for that bag to actually dry all the way out. Now the water that you the water that you backwash the filter with needs to be at least cold instead of hot. Uh, the instructions say that the first time you you backwash it you got to do it with some force to ensure that it separates all the fibers in the filter. Now I would also submit that once you do it, you need to plunge it with air a couple times. to get all the excess water out of the inside of the, the filter. Once you've done that, you can dry it off and cap it. Now if you're going to be using this on a regular basis, of course it's probably not that big of a deal. But uh, for my purposes, for the next week or so, I'm going to be getting all my water out of the creek in my backyard. And uh, well, we'll see if I get sick. Uh, I'm pretty sure that creek doesn't have uh, metals and chemical pollutants in it, but uh, as far as bacteria, I wouldn't drink it just straight out of the creek. So I'm going to be using my filter for the next week and, and see how it goes.